Good afternoon. Jeffrey Epstein just made his first court appearance just moments ago. Our court producer says that Epstein looked disheveled but calm. He was in a blue prison uniform. He did not have any shackles around his feet or any handcuffs. Uh, Epstein, you know, is 66 years old, and if he is convicted, he faces up to 45 years in prison. Epstein pled not guilty today on both sex trafficking charges in court in his first appearance. Now, federal prosecutors allege that between 2002 and 2005, Epstein paid underage girls as young as 14 hundreds of dollars to massage him or have sex with him at his townhouse in New York City or his mansion in Palm Beach, Florida. Now, prosecutors say Epstein knew the girls were underage. He had employees and associates arrange appointments for him with the girls, and Epstein would even encourage other girls to recruit other young girls. Now, in 2008, Epstein was accused of running this very same sex trafficking operation involving at least 40 underage girls, but those federal charges back in 2008 were dropped after Epstein received a controversially lenient plea deal that was brokered by President Trump's current Labor Secretary, Alexander Acosta, who was the district attorney in Florida at that time. Now, today, a lawyer representing some of Epstein's victims had this to say about the fact that Epstein is back in court. Enormous gratitude, enormous relief, enormous appreciation to the prosecutors uh, who brought the indictment. Uh, this was a uh, very important day for them, a very emotional day for them. Uh, this is the time that they have felt vindicated. Jeffrey Epstein, Dana, traveled in highly influential and wealthy social circles. There's a lot of interest on this case, not only because of the magnitude of his crimes, Dana, but because mm. of those social ties. He has been tied to former President Bill Clinton, as well as Great Britain's Prince Andrew and even current President Trump. Dana? Uh, tell me about prosecutors and their feelings about being granted bail. Yeah, so prosecutors believe that Epstein is an extreme flight risk. That's a quote. And they, they believe that he could flee because of his enormous wealth. They cite his two private jets, his six luxury homes all around the country, and the fact that he even owns his own private island in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Now, prosecutors also say Epstein is a danger to the community and could obstruct the investigation. They mention how he's been accused in the past of harassing and intimidating victims and potential witnesses, including allegedly hiring a private investigator that ran a victim's father down the road in the past. Now, we expect uh, Epstein to uh, be in front of court here for his bail hearing on Thursday. He'll be in custody until then. Dana? All right, Brian Yanis, thank you.